A rare Thursday night of soccer here at Hillside Stadium as the TRU Wolfpack took on their closest geographical rivals, the UBCO Heat out of Kelowna. This is night number one of the President's Cup. What is the President's Cup, you ask? Well, it's a competition between the two schools every year in all the CIS sports, basketball, volleyball, and soccer. TRU won both the men's and women's cups last year. We wanted to get a head start and an early start tonight. It's the Heat who took control early and they open up the scoring off a set piece. It's Ali Farinato who scores off the corner kick, the Calgarian's second goal of the year. One of the few chances for TRU in the first came here off a turnover. Mia Simpson with the shot off a body. Farinato looks for more off a free kick. The ball sort of fools Wolfpack keeper Alyssa Smith and just goes over the crossbar. The Heat have all kinds of speed up front. Here's Cassie Bratton who scoots away. Smith is there for the challenge. 29th minute, Kaylin Ferguson with the opportunity, just misses the mark. Wolfpack not giving up though, it's Christine Fergan with the head man to Simpson, but she can't finish. Let's move to the 43rd minute, Bratton with the blinding speed, she rings it off the post and into the net. Her second of the season gives UBCO Heat a 2-0 lead going into the dressing room. Second half, and the Wolfpack have a glorious opportunity. Both Sasha Siriani and Keenan Deegan get loose but can't capitalize. At the other end, it's Kaylin Ferguson down the right side, save Smith. UBCO gets a free kick, Jasmine Cooper with it. Alyssa Smith sprawls out to make the save. She gets injured on the play and is replaced by Deanna Brady. The Wolfpack look to get on the board off a corner kick, but Kendra Miracle heads it away. UBCO tries to add one more before it's done. 80th minute, Kylie Walker on the right side. Brady gets her hand on it. UBCO wins 2-0. Aye, we've got a bit of pace up front and the girls, the, the girls have really worked hard. I'm, I'm delighted with them. It's just, we just need to get back on the training field and keep working hard, you know, but I'm delighted for them tonight. They deserve that. They've played some great stuff during the season and not get in, so we're really happy for them. They've been great. We knew tonight was big. Um, you know, a win here, we tie with UBCO, and we're in a place to hunt a, a playoff spot. And we didn't come out in the first half and execute the things we've been talking about all week. And it's a shame because we came out in the second half and executed those things and actually took it to them for 45 minutes. We played fantastic in the second half.